Welcome to season five. Crazy. Okay, so it did snow the other day. It was our first legit snowfall with, I think like 20 centimeters of snow, but now it's warm again today and the snow is melting. I mean, I brought my drone out because I kind of wanted to drone with the snow, but I mean, I don't know how good it's gonna be because it's all gross like that. And am I in focus? I don't know. You think by, you know, the fifth year of vlogging, I know how to be in focus, but you know, maybe this year's the year, but uh, yeah, it's uh, 2023 and uh, this marks my fifth year of vlogging. Which is pretty insane if you ask me another year of this craziness and why am I still doing this? I have no idea, but I think we're gonna talk about kind of goal setting in this video because uh, I just thought about that the other day. I sort of want to open up this year's season five with why having big goals just doesn't work, at least for me. I have two examples to share with you. First, walk and talk, or something or something like that, or just random meaningless B-roll, but you know, YouTube. It is super icy here. Super icy. There's like no one around today, which is strange, because, you know, it's Saturday, but anyway. Uh, this is the first vlog, I guess, in uh, Canada, Ontario. The first video I did was in London, England. And if, if you haven't checked that out, I'll link it above, check that out. Uh, the funny thing with the London vlogs is they could have been like a whole lot better because I just stopped filming at some parts, at some parts of the day or night. Like I just stopped filming because I just want, didn't want to film anything. I just wanted to relax. So I was also struggling with like, how am I gonna edit these videos to make it somewhat interesting and somewhat have a message and somewhat have a purpose because I would just wander around all day just checking out stuff and I thought well maybe I'll just do a video about the lesser the lesser known attractions in London because the other time I was there I did a video about like the main stuff so that's kind of how I kind of figured out those videos but again like I mean I'm glad I was able to kind of like salvage it but they could have been a whole lot better but I tried my best in terms of trying to make it uh make it as complete as possible so go check that out if you want to see the lesser known stuff in london it was a good trip fun trip good to just go on a trip be on a plane and uh yeah it's fun hopefully i get to do more travel this year and i think now i kind of have a better better idea on how to make some really good travel videos and uh, that's kind of like what i learned from the london stuff so Back home, always good to be back home. So like I said earlier, uh, this this year marks my fifth year of vlogging, which is totally insane to me. Like, why am I still doing this? I'm not, make, I'm not making any money off of YouTube. I don't have any sponsors or brand deals or whatever. Like, I'm still doing this. So I thought to myself, like, what's the goal this year on YouTube? Like, what am I trying to do? Like, what am I trying to achieve? Like, what's the big goal? And then I thought, well, maybe I don't need a big goal. Maybe I need smaller goals, tiny goals, because it's those tiny goals that get you to larger goals. If you're planning or not planning it, that's just what happens, I think, when, you, when you're being consistent. Things just, start to, things just start to happen for you. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Paul, that doesn't make any sense. Of course you need big goals. Like, why wouldn't you have big goals? Isn't big goals the whole point about trying to achieve your dreams and all that? And yes, you're right. To me, it's the bigger goals that kind of slow you down. And sometimes it's easy to get discouraged. You guys think Israel is here? He is not. Damn. I think this door is new. That's a pretty cool door. I'm gonna call this alley the alley wisdom because I always try to make really important points in this alley. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, but hey, I'll give it a shot. So the first point I wanna make is, when I first started doing these vlogs in 2019 is, is that obviously it wasn't monetized, but I also did a vlog like every week. Doesn't, didn't matter what I was doing, where it was, but I always made sure that I was doing a vlog like every week. And that consistency just 
gets you, just makes you a better video person, better photographer, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, just being consistent and not focusing on the end goal of making money, that's what actually gets you to make money because you're not focusing on the end goal. You're focusing on just making the next thing and making the next thing and making the next thing. So as long as you're trying to make the next thing, it will eventually lead you to where you want to go. But just by focusing on the big goal of, oh, I want to make money, it's not going to make you money because no one's going to know what you do because you haven't made anything. You don't tell people what you do, like show people what you do. So as long as you have a like portfolio of what you're trying to like show people, that's really what matters, right? So don't try to explain people what you do, just show them because I think that goes a long way in terms of like making impact. Hey guys, it is uh, time for a coffee break because uh, I just want one. Best coffee in Oakville, right here. Right here, best coffee. It feels really good to do these vlogs again. I'm like really pumped for this year, like what I'm gonna do. Like it just feels good to just do them because besides like the London vlog, I didn't do like a vlog for like a good like month, like six weeks, so pumped. The same thing goes for the Oakville spotlights. Like I've done like 30 Oakville spotlights and I don't know if you guys know this, but I never got paid for them. Like it was my own time, it was my own gear, it was my own work. I never got paid for three of them. But those Oakville spotlights allowed me to land a job making videos for the, for the landscape company. So that's what I mean. I wasn't focused on making money off the Oakville spotlights. It was just a means of practice, getting better, work, working on my skills, and having a portfolio to show people, hey, this is what I do. I'm showing them. I'm not telling them. Every time I walk by here, that's the that was the very first Oakville spotlight I did. I had no lav mics. The sound was horrible, but I still did it. So uh, shout out. I don't think I do a good job in terms of advertising my podcast, but I have a podcast. It usually runs every Wednesday, and I bring on other people in photography, video. If you make something, I'd love, love, love to have you on and just chat about your journey because I think for me personally, I, some, sometimes I get stuck as the dog barks. Sometimes I get stuck in my own head, and then sometimes it's good to hear other people's journey, approach, mindset, because sometimes you pick stuff up. But what's the plan with a podcast? I've, I have no idea. Do I want to have the podcast monetized? Of course I do. But that's not my that's not that's not my focus. That that's not my aim. My aim is just to bring on people every week. My aim is just to stay consistent and just do the show every week because it's so easy not to do it. It's so easy not to do the podcast, not to do the show. And if I just stay consistent with just doing it, making doing the show, doing the podcast, you never know what's going to happen. So um, that's my advice for you. If you're trying to do something, make something, just be consistent. It's that consistency that sets you apart. That should be on a T-shirt. I love doing the show and uh, open shutter, open shutter YouTube on Instagram and uh, catch us every Wednesday. Got a show, I got a show lined up this Wednesday, so uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This place is new, I'm pretty sure this is new. So, give an open spotlight candidate, but who doesn't love crepes? Jeez. Well guys, if you're still watching this, you're my hero. Uh, hopefully this video made a little bit of sense. Hopefully you took away something from it. Um, and yeah, just stay tuned for 2023. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited about what I'm gonna make and uh, hopefully uh, you join me for that. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Like show versus tell. Don't tell me, show me. Yeah.